es bambinita. Bambini, bambini. I'm a little chora, it's bambini. Come let's learn in various fun way. It's an educational TV show. Kids and parents, I warmly welcome you all to our Bambini Healthy Lifestyle series and I am Aurelia Quarte as you already know. As kids, we mostly describe fat people as Obolo, Oboshi and so other funny names. But the question is, what makes them gain such weight? Is it the food they eat or is it a genetic inheritance? As we don't know, join me as nutritionist Akosria educates us more on obesity. So as you already know, the topic for today is obesity. Happy! Third Eye Care Vision Center is here with all your eye care solutions. Yes, Third Eye Care is at it again. Are your lenses becoming foggy because of wearing face masks or sitting in air-conditioned spaces? Are your eyes getting sore and tired after using the computer for prolonged periods? Are you struggling with light from oncoming cars and other vehicles when driving at night? Worry no more. Third Eye Care and Vision Center has all the right solutions for you. We have anti-fog and blue filtering lenses that solves it all. Third Eye Care and Vision Center also stocks all types of lenses, designer frames, sunglasses, and employs very well-trained, qualified, and licensed optometrists to provide all your eye care needs. Locate us at Airport Residential Area, close to the Association International School, opposite Mirage Residence, or Northridge, on the premises of Sunny FM, and close to the Kanda Overhead Bridge. Our working hours are Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Call us on 054-328-7008 or 026-646-2080. Please do well to observe all COVID-19 protocols. Third Eye Care and Vision Center, your total eye care solutions provider. Nutritionist Akosiera. Hi, Aurelia. Please, you're welcome to the Bumpini Show. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Okay. Nutritionist Akosiera, yes. please give us something brief about yourself. Okay, so I'm Nutritionist Akosiera. I'm a registered and licensed nutritionist. And uh, I am passionate about nutrition. I'm passionate about what we eat and how it affects us as people. I am interested in pregnant women or even women and men before they, they, they get pregnant. Yes, pregnancy is for the man and for the woman. And then I'm interested in pregnant women. I help check their HB levels and then make sure that they are receiving the right nutrition based on the trimester they find themselves in. So I'm interested in the child from conception until the child is out. And then once the child is done, with complementary feeding and breastfeeding, I run with this child onto puberty and then and, um, into puberty, sorry. And then I take care of people as far as um, non communicable diseases are also concerned. So, being hypertension, being diabetes, being gouty, arthritis, being everything that has to do with our lifestyle habits, which finds way of hurting us um, as far as our help is concerned. Please, why did you? choose to become a nutritionist okay yes. so um it's amazing um how um, what we eat can affect us as individuals my mom wanted me to be a nurse and for some reason i wanted to do nursing for her but i realized that there were certain things in there that I, I, I couldn't, I, I, it's not like I couldn't do, but I want to stand out. I don't want to be the nurse who is not giving off her best because that's not what she really wanted to be. I am a nutritionist. I'll be a nutritionist and I always want to be a nutritionist no matter where I, I get to. I'm interested in how what we eat can be good, can be bad, and can be ugly to us. So I decided to be a nutritionist because we don't have a lot of people in this area. It's a unique area and yes, I'm unique. So I want to be in a unique field where I can touch everybody's life throughout the life cycle. So maybe this is a few I can share with you as far as why I decided to be a nutritionist is concerned. Please, what should our Bambini kids at home do if they want to become like you? Okay, so um, it's a privilege to be a nutritionist, to have people come to you 
with their nutrition issues or their nutritional concerns and seek your expert opinion. If you want to be a nutritionist like myself, study hard, listen to your, your parents, um, listen to your teachers, and study hard, make the good grades. Thank you, nutritionist Akoshia, for enlightening us on obesity. And while we're many kids at home, you know that the topic for today is obesity. So please, what is obesity? So obesity is you having excess fat in your system, which puts you at risk of other health issues or conditions. Okay. Please, who is an obese? Hmm. So, I will, I will split it into two. Okay. That is for zero to five years. And the zero okay. to five years people will use this book. So, I will give interpretations. And then anything above that until you are 18 okay. or above 18. Above 18, we don't use that too. Okay. So, if you are after five to 17, there's something we use. It's called the percentile. Plotting. So, okay. if you are above the 85th percentile, up okay. to 95th, or even above the 95th percentile, we say that you are obese. So, 85th percentile to 95th percentile, okay, you have to be concerned. Anything about 95th percentile, you have children coming to you recording 98 okay. percent. So, if it's above 95th percentile, then there's trouble for us. So, 85th, 95th. Okay, you are obese, overweight, let's put it that way, anything about the 95th percentile. But for those zero to five years, now, if you come for weighing or what we call the CWC, okay. this is where we do the recording. So you can see zero to 60 months. So yes. 60 months is five years. Yes. So when I measure a child, let's say, Let's, let's do this so that our viewers can see. Okay. So let's say this is a boy. So this is for a boy. There's a column for a girl. Okay. So let's say the child is um, 12 months old or let's say 2 years or anything above 2 years. So the child is 36 months, meaning 3 years. And this child is above this black line. So a healthy weight is supposed to fall within the two reds. So we have, we call this the z-score. This is plus two, two minus two. Okay. So anything within here is normal. Okay. If your child is here, there is a reason for me to question it. It okay. could be that genetics is contributing to the fat being bigger because my mom is big, but my dad is like me. Okay. So th that's why I look this way, maybe. Yeah, so aside taking care of your nutrition or what you put inside you, genetics too can influence it. So I've had children, as a matter of fact, being plus three, between plus three to plus two, who are okay because okay. of where they are coming from. And so if after probing, your dad is not big, your mom is not big, but you can clearly see that the nutrition of this child or what we are feeding the child is what is contributing to this weight, then it means that there is a reason for us to be worried or concerned. So anything above plus three is not normal. Okay. But okay. like I said, depending. So if you don't fall within the plus two to minus two, if you are above plus two, plus three, there is a reason for me to probe, to know what is contributing to that. But if everything, as far as genetics and every information I will need clinically is ruled out, and I realize that your feeding or what we are giving to the child is contributing to this in some children, especially those who are fed with formulas and a lot of things that we are preaching against processed cereals and other things, it could be a contributory factor. Okay, okay. So please, what are the causes of obesity? So, like I said, we have genetics. Genetics has to be with you having no control of, over it. I told you my mom is big. My mom has been big since infancy. So let's say that I, I, my dad too was as big as my mom. Then I would be at risk. Okay. of being obese. So it's okay. up to me to make sure that there are certain things I'm not doing so that I can stay like I am. But I'm lucky. 
my dad was like this he's passed but he was like like this so okay. maybe i went that line yes. and left my mommy because i don't want to be obese <laughs> i don't want to put myself at risk of health issues yes. yes so aside genetics it could be what you are eating and okay. what you take to school a snack okay a snack yes okay sometimes um i eat yogurt not too much sometimes i take in biscuits yes and which, sometimes which biscuit uh, milk magic mm. digestive biscuits mm. yes mm. and so many yes so for the yogurt, I was going to give you boza, so take boza for the yogurt. Okay, thank but you. there are other things that we are always encouraging mothers to to not add as snacks okay. for children. Do you like fruits? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the average Ghanaian child doesn't want to have fruits. And we are preaching that as parents, you give your kids fruits. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes, because you see, they are natural, and yes. fruits are just the way God made them. Yes. Nothing has been done to it. It's not been tempered as far as nutrient density and its composition is concerned. So, if it is 100, you are getting 100. Unlike the processed stuff, when something is processed, I want to make money. So, I add whatever I want to add to it. The preservatives, the extra sugars we add contributes to what we are experiencing as far as obesity and whatever you is concerned. So you, you go to the supermarket, you see fruit juice sitting on the shelves. Yes. Aurelia, if I squeeze orange juice and yes. I don't drink it in the next 24 hours and I allow it to sit here, what will happen? Mm, maybe it's a spoil. But that is fresh juice. That's why it went bad. Okay. That is what fresh juice means. When you taste pineapple, you, 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 you get the feeling how pineapple is. But sometimes, yes. have you tasted anything they call fruit juice? Let's say mango fruit juice, but it doesn't taste like mango. Yes. So they lied. Oh. Because if it is pure fruit juice, orange juice is supposed to taste like the way I would taste orange, orange. No, from no, the no, pop. So if they are calling it juice and it can sit on the shelf for six months, one year, eight months, two years, and that squeezed orange juice cannot even go beyond 24 hours at room temperature, are they telling us the truth? Oh. Mm. So it means that aside the lies, they are adding stuff to it because most of them are sweet. Yes. yes. Do you realize that most of them are sweet? Yes. Mm -hmm. They've made it sweet so that children will love it. Yeah. But these are what poses threat to us. And sometimes in school, the, the snacks they are giving or the lunch they are serving to us. So aside the sugary foods, you have what is being given in our schools also being a yes. contributory factor. Yes. I had a client, 10 years and 11 years, coming to me very, very obese. And... They said they can give them sausage, chicken, and carbonated drinks mm. in school for snack. I can see that you, you, you are blown away, right? Yes. So clearly you can see that the reason why this child or these girls are obese is because of what they are being fed with. So okay. in as much as we understand that daddies, mommies, aunties, uncles, you love us so much as kids, would want you to serve us with something healthy and something that will supply us with good nutrition. Because this beautiful girl here wants to be the best singer yeah. in the whole world. She yeah. wants to be on a plane. And we need her to stay healthy. We need her to stay fit. And so through Aurelia here and myself, we want to tell you parents to serve our children with something healthy because we want to reduce our risk of obesity. Okay. So my many kids at home, once again, you're not hearing this from me, you're hearing this from nutritionist atmosphere. The word is really, really big and it's a mouthful. Mommies and daddies, please give your kids fruits, not fruit juice, fruits and 
let it be really really fresh because it's really sweet so please um our bambini kids at home mm. can maybe say they eat well they exercise well but they still gain weight mm. so what is what is the problem for that okay so to start with i will run you through how we are all supposed to eat as far as the world health organization and the ghana health service recommendations for you me okay. everybody okay. in the world is concerned okay. now we have the four star diet here can you see it yes so what 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 do you read what is this um so we have the four star diet here we have the staples, you can see earlier. Yes. We have legumes and seeds. We have yes. um, fruits and vegetables. We have mm -hmm. animal source foods or proteins. Yes. And then we have uh, minerals, okay. like um, data salt. Yes. We have oils, healthy yes. oils. Let me put yes. it that way. We have healthy cheese. We yes. have healthy butter. Yes. Yes. And so they all fall here. So healthy fats. Okay. And then iodized salt, they okay. all fall under here so this is how we are all supposed to eat yeah. now example of the staples we have maize wheat rice millets what we normally call carbo <laughs> or carbohydrates yeah. and then we have um, the beans agushi neri or what we call rere we have ground nuts so nuts and seeds and all pulses fall under another family or another star so we have fruits and vegetables we have yes. animal source foods and then the essential fats. Whatever you are eating in a day, ask yourself, are you satisfying these protocols? If you are satisfying these protocols, then you are eating a balanced diet okay. as a protocol. And fruits, they contain a lot of things. Even in this time of COVID, we have our immune system being something that is spoken of. Yes. And we know that the citric family foods are blessed with nutrients that helps to boost our immunity. So citric family foods like oranges, pineapple, tangerines, mm -hmm. they are all good as far as vitamin C is concerned. Vegetables are blessed with a lot of the B vitamins, a lot of the vitamin A um, 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 vitamins. So we need vitamin A for good eyesight. We need a lot of all the other nutrients we will need iron sits in the animal sources and iron has everything to do with our blood health okay what are you without your blood or earlier what am i without my blood so we need to just eat well we don't just eat we need to make sure we have a bit of the animal sauce in there a bit of the fruits and vegetables in there a bit of the staples in there a bit of the legumes and seeds in there so let's say that you are eating well to you ask yourself what's the quantity okay. hmm. for your age how many ladles of rice can you can you take mm, like um, for me I take maybe three or four that's a lot for your age <laughs> so now earlier we reduce the quantity okay. and then add a lot of vegetables so we can have a bit of salad on the side, potato salad or chicken salad, which one would you yes, prefer? like chicken salad. Okay, so we bring that in so that we reduce the carbo. Okay. If it's rice and palava sauce, we just do, so the four, we can do two and bring in a lot of the palava sauce because it is blessed with vegetables cabbage stew yes. lot so make sure that there's a lot of vegetables in there make sure you are basically satisfying this protocol so you can have your cocoa and beans yes with a bit of fish in there okay. and then you can have your gakenke with a bit of onions tomatoes yes. Yes. dandelions are common in ghana you don't even buy I them like, i like dandelions yeah, so you can wash it with vinegar or with salt water. Just pick them with your fingers. I usually use salt water. And then we add a bit of onions to it, a bit of tomato to it, and then add a bit of avocado to it. That is salad. Yes. So you can you, can you imagine how colorful this this yes, this looks? It's going to be only colorful. It will be tasty. 
and then it will be highly nutritious too. So pick clues from Aurelia and myself and make sure you are adding some color to your meals because that is what nutrition is all about. We are looking colorful, right? Thank you. Yes, and that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> what are your best foods for obesity, to prevent obesity? Okay, so you do lean meat. Okay. So, you know that we love to enjoy our chicken, the juicy part with the skin on. Yes. If you're obese, you don't need a skin. It is loaded with fat. And obesity already means that you have a lot of fat in your system. So, we need to make sure we are cutting down on your fat consumption. So, I can do a drumstick for Aurelia or the breast part of chicken. So, tell your mommies, please, mommies, we don't want the skin. In fact, we want the chicken breast part, the part. Mm. The breast part is lean. It has no fat and it's very good. Make sure you have a lot of vegetables on your plate. And then at least you should take a fruit a day. Okay. And then make sure you are cutting down on your carbs. For children, we are normally not too strict on you. But our bambini kids, if mommy is big, if you know that in a family everybody is big, then you need to also tell yourself that I need to make sure I put one, two, three together for myself so that I can look the way Aurelia looks or I can look the way nutritionist Akosia looks. Even though I am lucky, my dad was like this so okay. you make sure you are eating clean lean meat no processed foods okay some of you like sausages a lot yes i'm not saying don't take them okay but there are some of you if today there is no sausage you you you, you are not happy okay. mommy has to buy me pizza all the time mm -hmm. your bad days won't come every day so yes. On your birthday, the pizza, the cake, the fun can happen. But it shouldn't be something you are always doing because anything that will pump a lot of glucose into your system will contribute to you being obese. Okay. And the other sugar also contributes to another thing. We won't talk about diabetes today, but diabetes is happening in children and it is also one of the conditions that is linked to obesity. Remember I said it increases your risk of health conditions. Yeah. Diabetes is part, okay. and now diabetes is affecting children. So we need to make sure that we are cutting down on the consumption of processed foods. Example, I mentioned sausages. Yes. Now, those lying to us now, we know what to do. If you're telling us it's fruit juice, and we read the labels of the item, and the expiring date and manufacturer's date, the interval is so wide. It means that you are not telling us the truth. <laughs> so we are not going to take that. We are taking fruits instead of drinks. Okay. Because orange juice prepared from the house is juice. And okay. that is no lie. Yes. There are some places serving juices and they are natural. They are not lying. So, let me just tell you so that you wouldn't think every juice yes. is a lie. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, make sure you are eating in connection with the chat I show you as far as the false star diet is concerned. Eat clean, stay off refined food, and then there are some of you who love fast foods. Okay. So, you want chicken. That, that, that favorite chicken yes. every child likes. Yes. yes. And then your crushes, right? Yes. You enjoy them. Like I said... Every day should, should every day is in the birthday. So once in a while we can have fun. Okay. But if it becomes part of you, it's a reason why you are becoming big and you are putting yourself at risk of asthma and other health conditions later in future. So let's eat right. And if you've never seen a nutritionist in your life, now I'm seeing Aurelia. So Ooh. afterwards we will we'll take care of Aurelia. But tell your mommy that mommy please. For once, just take me to see a nutritionist. Okay, okay. So, um, please, what are, are the stages of obesity? Okay, so we have um, grade one okay. obesity, we have grade two obesity, we have grade three obesity. But for a child, like I said, anything be, be above the 90 feet percentile 
is seen as a threat or even to be on the safer side anything from the 85th percentile running through the 95th above the 95th percentile is a problem so with this i can't just look at you and say that mm, aurelia there's a problem you need yes. to be clinically assessed by a registered nutritionist okay but for the adults anyone above 18 i know that mom some mommies are watching if you are above 30 you are obese but we have grade one obesity grade two obesity grade three obesity and then you hit morbid morbid is anything about 40 kilogram per meter square okay and then for grade one we have anything 30 to 33 anything above 33 to somewhere 35 36 is grade two and then after 36 through to 39 is mm -hmm. grade three okay. anything above 40 you are morbid they are the real bushes <laughs> that's for mummies but for children anything above the 85th um, percentile needs concern and 95th percentile it means there is trouble okay um please what are the difference between overweight and obesity hmm. so like i said anything for our bambini kids if you're about the 85th percentile it means that you are overweight and then if you are bit above the 95th percentile you are obese so for overweight for our bambini mothers if you are above 25.0 kilograms per meter square you are also overweight so anything 25.0 kilograms per meter square through to 29.9 kilograms per meter square for bambini mothers and fathers is classified as overweight okay so i've given that for our bambini kids and i've given that for our bambini parents okay. okay but you need to be clinically assessed like i said by a nutritionist so that we can fully know that you are overweight or obese okay and please how can obesity be healed and how Hmm. So it involves a lot of things. Like I said, once it's, it's made possible by the lifestyle practices that we, we indulge in, yes, though genetics has a part to play. If your obesity is um, genetically inclined, I believe that there are ways we can help to make sure that at least you are not put at risk of certain health conditions. But if yours is basically or has everything to do with lifestyle choices like the fizzy drinks, the candies, the chocolates. Yeah. And because mommy can afford to give you all these luxuries, all these cakes, or all, all the confectionaries you would want to have. If that is the reason why you are obese, then we need to cut down on that, sweetheart. Okay. And so thank you, nutritionist Akoshia for giving us all about obesity and thank you for um, showing us the right way of eating and you two both are for Hey, okay. thank you so much. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. Nutritionist Akosia, yeah, please, smart. before we end the show, mm -hmm. what are your closing messages for our Bambini kids at home and also me? Oh, earlier you are beautiful. Thank you. Yes, to our Bambini kids. I will encourage you to eat healthy. And now, whatever you are taking with you to school or snack, I will humbly request that we do fruits instead. If mommy says something and it is not everything we've spoken about, in a very nice and polite way, just ask for something healthy, like the examples we've given. And you can humbly ask mommy and daddy to take you to see a nutritionist. So that you can find help, even if you know you are not obese, so that we can all help ourselves to stay healthy and then put ourselves way, 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 way far from these health conditions, which is seriously challenging our continent and the world. Eat clean, learn hard, and stay fabulous. Stay blessed. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Third Eye Care Vision Center is here with all your eye care solutions. Yes! 
third eye care is at it again. Are your lenses becoming foggy because of wearing face masks or sitting in air-conditioned spaces? Are your eyes getting sore and tired after using the computer for prolonged periods? Are you struggling with light from oncoming cars and other vehicles when driving at night? Worry no more. Third Eye Care and Vision Center has all the right solutions for you. We have anti-fog and blue filtering lenses that solves it all. Third Eye Care and Vision Center also stocks all types of lenses, designer frames, sunglasses, and employs very well-trained, qualified, and licensed optometrists to provide all your eye care needs. Locate us at Airport Residential Area, close to the Association International School, opposite Mirage Residence, or Northridge, on the premises of Sunny FM and close to the Kanda Overhead Bridge. Our working hours are Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Call us on 054-328-7008 or 026-646-2080. Please do well to observe all COVID-19 protocols. Third Eye Care and Vision Center, your total eye care solutions provider.